Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you a couple versions of a holster that I really like. It is a very simple conceal carry trigger guard holster by Raven Concealment called the Vanguard. I've got this original Vanguard 1 that I normally use on my compact M&P 9mm. And then I've also got this newer, more advanced version called the Vanguard 2 that just was shown at SHOT Show last month and it hasn't officially been released yet, but it is available for pre-order. I'm going to show you both of these versions today on a couple of blue plastic training guns with this Vanguard 2 on a Glock 19 and this Vanguard 1 on a compact M&P 40. The Vanguard is very small and lightweight and as I said, it covers your trigger guard, making it very safe and a very simple way to carry and store your pistol anywhere. I got this one for my M&P several months ago and I just love it. I think it's an invaluable concealment product to have because it's a quick way to always have your gun with you when you don't have a convenient way to carry a standard holster. This original Vanguard one has been for sale since early 2008 and it comes with paracord when you order it so that you can tie it to different things and anchor it so that just a quick tug will <clears throat> just pop it off. You can tie it to your belt as a method for hasty appendix carry. Just a very quick and easy way to throw it in your pants and carry. Um, it's also a very safe and effective way to carry or store your pistol in places like on your nightstand or in your glove box, inside a gym bag, a purse, or a sling bag, anything like that because Nothing can get into your trigger guard and create an accidental discharge, but yet you can still deploy your gun effectively if you need it because when you tie it to your anchor point, such as a D-ring or a keychain hook in a bag or even a screw on your nightstand, the paracord will stretch tight when you draw your gun and that sharp tug will just pop it right off. Having a simple trigger cover is so much safer than storing your gun someplace without a holster. For example, this would keep a multi-tool or something from getting lodged in your trigger in a glove box. Um, you won't accidentally put your finger into your trigger guard if you reach for your gun on your nightstand in the middle of the night while you're dreaming. Also, um, when talking about putting a gun inside a bag, with this holster not only could you be comfortable with keeping around in the chamber because the trigger guard is covered, but it also allows for one-handed drawing from concealment in a bag, which is great. Because um, since you can tie the paracord to a secure attachment point in your bag, you only need one hand to draw your gun instead of using two hands to pull it out of a normal holster. Here I will show you my original Vanguard used, um, tied into a backpack. This is my Maxpedition Pygmy Falcon 2 and I used a double square knot to tie the paracord very securely to a loop inside the pack. So this allows you to draw your gun one-handed out of a bag. Always be very aware of what you are aiming your gun at when you pull it out because you don't want to be stretching the gun straight out so that you're aiming it at your hand because you think it needs to release that way with the paracord. You can pull the gun away from yourself and it will pop off. So just be aware of that always. Um, so if you're walking and you need to draw your gun, you would reach in, pull it away, and as you can see, the holster remains with the bag if you have tied it on very securely to a solid attachment point. I'll show you guys another option. This is an REI bag that I have. Again, using the original Vanguard and it just snaps right out. And the Vanguard remains with the bag. The Vanguard 1 is made of Pydex and it's available for a lot of different guns. They're all listed on the Raven Concealment website. And this Vanguard 1, which is just called the Vanguard on the site, it's the original, is $19.99. This is the Vanguard 2 that I picked up at SHOT Show and I've been checking it out. It is a more advanced version of the original and it's designed to be more secure for in the waistband carry. It has this polymer strut coming off of it here and also this soft loop so that you can secure it to a belt and it can be worn anywhere inside your pants but it works best for appendix carry. 
this soft loop is made of rubber and it is actually reinforced with Kevlar so you don't really have to worry about breaking it at all. And also by taking out this screw here and completely removing both this strut and the attached soft loop, it then becomes like the Vanguard one. So you can use it with this strut and this loop attached if you want to carry in the waistband and attach it securely to a belt or you can remove both of them and if that's if you want to attach it to something with paracord through this lanyard hole. Um, the original Vanguard was made of Kydex, but this Vanguard 2 is made of injection molded polymer. And when it first comes out, it will only be available for Glocks. I hope you guys can please excuse the band-aid. I took a break to eat lunch and I cut my finger, so sorry if that's distracting. Um, Okay, the Vanguard 2 is ambidextrous because this strut assembly here can be flipped to the other side for whether or not you're left or right-handed. You would just remove this screw right here and flip the strut and the soft loop to the other side and reinstall the screw. So um, there are also three different mounting holes on here so that you can adjust the ride height. Um, you would just remove the screw on the inside of the snap and then you would move the soft loop up or down along the strut to position it higher or lower in your waistband. Um, it is also adjustable for cant. You would just loosen this screw enough to swivel the soft loop. I've already loosened it with a Phillips screwdriver to show you that you can adjust it to any angle that you want it at. You would just loosen it and um, adjust that. Obviously for appendix carry you would just have a straight drop, but if you were intending to wear it behind your hip or anywhere else, you could definitely adjust that to where you wanted it and then you would retighten the screw. Um, underneath the soft loop there are little little studs or spikes along around each of the holes. They're very tiny and they bite into the soft loop when it's softened down to help prevent movement. There is a mill spec directional snap that only opens and closes one way. I'll show you here. To close it, you would catch the snap along the bottom and then you would roll it downwards. And then to open the snap, you would pull it from the top and then roll it away. They use the directional snap to prevent the snap from accidentally coming undone when drawing your gun. So you catch it at the bottom and roll it up and then you pull it away. As I mentioned, when this comes out, it will first only be available for Glocks. It will fit all 9, 40, and 357 Glocks, both generations 3 and 4. It will also fit 45 and 10 millimeter Glocks, but it will be a tighter fit on those. And it'll be a little loose on the Glock 36, but it will still work. Of course, I'm interested in getting one for my M&P eventually, and they did say that the M&P will be the next pistol they make it for, so that's pretty cool. That's after the Glock version has been released, so I'm excited about that. Um, and it does have the lanyard hole here, as you can see, like the Vanguard 1, so it also does still come with a strand of paracord from Raven Concealment, so you can have that option to attach it to a bag or a nightstand, glove box, anything like that. Here I will show you guys how the Vanguard 2 works with my blue plastic Glock 19 for appendix carry. As you can see, it snapped out really crisp, really nice clean draw. When you draw, be sure to keep your finger off the trigger until you are on target and ready to fire. To reholster your gun, you do have to use your other hand to unsnap the holster and remove it from your belt to put it back on your gun. And then you do have to put it back around your belt and re-snap it on, which you can do one-handed. And remember, it's a directional snap, so you do have to catch it at the bottom and roll it up. So it's not a holster designed for range use or quick reholstering. It is designed as a small, lightweight, concealed carry holster. But even though you can't reholster instantly, it is very quick.
Really quick here, just to make it clear what the differences are between the original Vanguard 1 and the newer Vanguard 2. Um, the original Vanguard is made of Kydex, and it is already available for several different pistols. The Vanguard 2 is made of polymer, and it has not been released yet, but when it is out, it is initially only going to be for Glocks. Of course, the Vanguard 2 does have this um, strut and belt loop for more secure in the waistband carry, whereas the original does not have that because it's intended to just be used with the paracord. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is regarding the shape, but I think it's important to note that there's a difference. As you can see here on the original Vanguard, there is a steep angle here. It angles down to a point down away from the gun, making it very easy to catch that point on something and one-handedly pop the holster off that way if you need to. The Vanguard 2, as you can see, does not have as steep of an angle, so you wouldn't be able to pop the holster off that way with the Vanguard 2. So I think that's an important thing to note, mainly because um, if you weren't planning on carrying in the waistband at all and you were only going to get the Vanguard to attach it to something to anchor it using the paracord, you might want to consider getting the Vanguard 1 version just so that you have that alternate method of popping off the holster. But of course, if you do plan to carry in the waistband at all or quite a bit, you probably want to go with the Vanguard 2 to get that strut and loop. Although, of course, you can still use the original for in the waistband carry. You would just put the paracord around your belt. I think that the Vanguard 2 is awesome, and it's really versatile since it gives you more options. It is a more secure form of in the waistband carry, plus you have the ability to still remove that and anchor, anchor it to something using paracord. So, a lot of options there. Um, again, the Vanguard 2 has no release date yet, but you can pre-order it for Glocks and it will be $34.99. I do have an extra Vanguard 2 that I picked up at SHOT Show and I will be giving it away in my upcoming channel giveaway, so please stay tuned for that and please be sure to enter if you want that for your Glock. So thank you guys for watching. Bye!